Why do we need PCR tests before vaccination? If we have respiratory symptoms after vaccination, do we still need PCR tests? Why? Let me explain key cases before and after vaccination. There are two key cases before vaccination. One is when you have symptoms, the other is when you do not have any symptom. If you have a respiratory symptom, isn't it better to find out what is causing it first? C-Gene's PCR test can find the exact cause by diagnosing and distinguishing among flu, common cold, or COVID-19. If it is the flu or common cold, you can get vaccinated after you have fully recovered. And if it is COVID-19, you need to receive appropriate treatment first. Once you have fully recovered from COVID-19, you should take a PCR test again to confirm your recovery before getting vaccinated. Therefore, a healthcare professional may inform you to take a PCR test instead of getting vaccinated if you show respiratory symptoms. You might think that you could get vaccinated if you don't show any respiratory symptom. If you do not show any symptoms and do not have the virus, then there is no problem. But what if you are a carrier of the virus but do not show any symptoms? Globally, it is reported that more than half of COVID-19 confirmed cases are asymptomatic. To determine if you are an asymptomatic carrier or not can only be confirmed by the PCR test. So experts say that you should get tested first to make sure that you're not an asymptomatic carrier before vaccination. Next, let's see why we need a PCR test after vaccination. <laughs> Let's say you have already been tested and were declared negative for coronavirus. I got a COVID-19 vaccine shot. Would that be it? Researchers are continuing their studies on vaccine efficacy and the duration of immunity. And they mostly agree that you can still be exposed to the risk of COVID-19 again after a certain period of time, even if you are vaccinated. Apart from the issue of the duration of protection, not everyone is guaranteed to form immunity after vaccination. In case of flu, only 45% of people form vaccine-induced immunity, and the remaining 55% fail to form immunity even after vaccination. Lastly, there are some reports that some COVID-19 variants can significantly reduce effectiveness of the vaccine. In short, even after getting a COVID-19 vaccine, there is a significant chance that you can still be infected with COVID-19. So, if you have respiratory symptoms after vaccination, you need an accurate diagnosis in order to receive an appropriate treatment. This is why the PCR test is still necessary even with the vaccines.
At this point, you might ask, until when do we need the PCR test? With COVID-19, the PCR test is crucial in making evidence-based decisions such as whether it is the flu or COVID-19 when you have respiratory symptoms, whether you are not an asymptomatic carrier, whether you are fit to get vaccinated, whether you have fully recovered from COVID-19. As you can see, PCR tests have many roles to play even with the vaccination, especially when COVID-19 variants are spreading and with even more variants emerging. That's why C-Gene continues to closely monitor the transformation of COVID-19 and develops up-to-date PCR tests to provide accurate diagnosis on the fast-changing virus. With accumulated data using C-Gene's PCR tests, we can provide important information on how fast variants are spreading and help determine vaccine efficacy and the duration of vaccine-induced immunity. This information will be critical in helping researchers to develop more effective vaccines against ever-changing COVID-19 variants. Many people think the commercialization of vaccines would decrease the need for the PCR test. But in fact, they are complementary. When diagnosis, vaccine, quarantine, and treatment all work in harmony, the pandemic will gradually fade away and our daily lives will go back to normal. Viruses will never defeat humans.